Now, Japan, of course, rushing to restore power, food, and water supplies to those people affected by last week's devastating earthquake and ensuing tsunami. Japanese officials say that providing clean drinking water is a priority. My next guest's company designs and manufactures water treatment equipment that could help ease water supply problems, not only in emergency situations, but in everyday use. Jim Courier is the chairman and chief executive of Psionics. Jim, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Thanks Thank for you coming for inviting in. me. So what exactly is Psionics and how does it differ from just the ordinary charcoal filtration of water that we've known about for quite a while? Excellent question. Psionics is a design, build, manufacture mobile water treatment systems. And the beauty about the technology is, is that we co-locate with the contaminants. Uh, and we have developed a very effective method of flocculating and floating contaminants to the surface. What is and flocculating mean? Flock is just like a flock of sheep. You clump them all together. Okay. And then as you clump it together, it rises to the surface and the skimmer comes along and removes all those contaminants. It's and very so you can turn water that has been contaminated into water that is potable, that is drinkable, in what kind of time frame? Our standard unit handles about 400,000 gallons a day, and, and just potable water is not is not the our mission in life. Our mission in life is is a, is a number of water resources. Recycling is the most important. As you're speaking about Japan, you've got four issues there. You've got drinking water, you've got wastewater, you've got recycled water, and you've got uh, 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 radioactive contaminants. And you need to address all of those. Much of the epidemics that are caused as a result of these natural disasters are waterborne. So if you can't treat the waste and you can't provide uh, adequate drinking, drinking water um, and you can't recycle some of that water because you've got a completely devastated infrastructure, you're, you've really got a disaster on your hands even of a greater magnitude than the disaster itself. Now from what you know about what has happened in Japan and the state of the infrastructure in and around the devastated area, is the water there something that can be brought back to acceptable standards within what the next couple of weeks months how long does something like this typically take the infrastructure is just completely decimated in the northeast quadrant it's going to take quite a while to restore the infrastructure in the meantime you, you know you have to provide sanitary conditions you have to provide drinking water and uh, you're not going to be able to provide it on the magnitude that you had before but as as uh, i've said the psionics unit is is co-locates co with the contaminants so we can deliver 400,000 gallons of of clean water for recycling we can deliver 300,000 gallons a day for potable water so if you look at the human consumption just drinking water a human being needs at least a half a gallon of water a day and they use approximately 35 gallons a day just in in sewage and sanitation so you're talking about an awful lot of water what about the cost? I mean, there, right now, of course, this is an emergency situation. When you talk about the, the sewage uh, treatment of, the, of what's going on with the water there, I mean, is that incredibly expensive? How, how much does it cost to actually make that, make that clean again? It's, it really isn't a substantial cost because the, really it's the capital cost. The operating costs are literally nothing because we don't use chemicals. The two most important constituents of a water treatment system are air and sun and we're just mother nature's assistant uh, we don't use chemicals um, we have a very efficient way in which to remove the contaminants it is it is a process which uh, occurs over the period of a day 400,000 gallons a day is a what about water. the radiation in the water radiation is this is a molecule in the atom and all we do the same thing same with thing. all the other contaminants we float it out now the resulting mat will be radioactive so they'll have to be collected and stored until it can be taken to a place for where it can be um, where it can be uh, disposed, of, disposed, disposed of disposed safely of, right because right. we don't we don't eliminate the contaminant we just remove it from the water remove it but you got to put it somewhere i want to exactly. thank you very much jim courier from psionics uh, giving us some uh, details about clean water and making it clean thank you very much